Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Photo. Josie Elias. Shutterstock. Grammar snobs may shudder in disgust at this idea, but it's time to normalize the use of they, them as singular pronouns. It's 2021. No more of this, he or she, his or her, stuff. Video player is, current time 0 hundred duration 105 remaining time 105 it's perfectly reasonable to use gender neutral pronouns in casual conversation both written and verbal, and as it turns out, it even makes perfect grammatical sense. Though the use of these words as plural pronouns is a hardwired trait, you won't be defying traditional grammar convention if you decide to. You may, however, have to endure the righteous hand-wringing of certain grammar purists who insist you're committing a horrible faux pas. The only thing is, they're the ones who are wrong. Nonsense. The oldest written example of the singular they emerged in the 14th century, when it was used in the medieval romance William and the Werewolf. G. O. Media may get a commission but according to the Oxford English Dictionary, they singular roots possibly stretch back even further. Since forms may exist in speech long before they're written down, it's likely that singular they was common even before the late 14th century. That makes an old form even older. The implication, that they has existed as a singular pronoun meant to identify anyone across the gender spectrum. In fact, examples of the singular they abound throughout the history of literature. There's even more examples, as Purdue University explains, running the gamut from Wycliffe's 1382 translation of the Bible, to Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing, in which the bard writes, to strange sores, strangely they strain the cure, grammar constantly evolves you might gasp, but it reamer. For example, the word you, almost universally thought of as singular in present day, evolved from a much more fluid stature where it readily applied as a plural for years. That change met with some resistance. In 1660, George Fox, the founder of Quakerism, wrote a whole book labeling anyone who used singular you an idiot or a fool. The usage of you evolved, which is to say, the current reorientation of pronouns in 2021 is normal. You might catch flack for defying certain style guides and grammar books, but it's good. Singular they has been used for a long time and is used in most casual situations. You probably do it yourself without realizing it. We are simply, it's also more inclusive. All of this is to say that using non-gendered pronouns is more inclusive, and it really doesn't have to be such a big deal. More formal announcements made to groups can really benefit from this kind of thing. For example, when making an announcement like, employees should store personal items in his or her locker, just say, their locker. Or, when saying, the owner of the blue Honda Civic must move his or her car, just say, their car. In addition to accounting for the growing cohort of folks who. And, oh yeah, it's also grammatically correct. Subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more how-to and informative videos.